with the uh, seventh select the seventh selection of the draft the flyers are proud to select from st petersburg in the khl matvey mishkov so that's one of the big storylines as we entered this draft how far would Matt Bay Mitchkoff slide again? He was right there with Connor Bedard as far as the rankings were concerned a year ago. We all understand the geopolitical situation. We all understand the KHL contract situation. He might not be able to come to North America for a number of years, but ultimately the Flyers say we'll uh, bear those risks and we will take him at seven. The Flyers have another pick at 22. You're looking right behind you in the rearview mirror. You're seeing the Washington Capitals, who many people thought would be a destination for Mitchkoff. They jump the queue a little bit here and they go and get Mitchkov. You have to be extremely confident in your ability to get this player over here. And is it going to be worth the risk? I think about him getting boots on the ground here. You talked about it in the pregame show, JB. It was really important. You want to see the guy. You want to shake his hand, look him in the eye. You want to know some of those things about the character of this player. You have to also be extremely confident in your scouting staff that was mostly done on video that you're happy with what you see. I will say this, with what I saw in 2021 at the under 18s, where he scored 12 goals and won the MVP, that was a pretty good sales pitch for me, but we're a couple of years removed from that. There no doubt is some risk with this pick. Well, for me guys, he's the best player available on the list. That's just the bottom line. Let's just start from there. I don't have any issues with the timeline of Russian prospects coming to play in North America. I don't. If it's going to take three years and he's going to, you know, at the end of that contract come over, I'm fine with that, Chuck. But when I present it to you as my general manager, we have to look him in the eyes today because I'm telling you he's the best player. But we, meaning you mostly, <laughs> have to be very comfortable looking at him and saying, yeah, I believe he can be a flyer down the road. Well, absolutely. I mean, th this guy's the second best player in the draft in terms of talent and and look I have a little bit of information from that franchise but <laughs> but uh, there's no question the Flyers have been looking for top end talent for a long time and this is the guy that takes two years three years four years whether you get him at 22 or 23 he's he's a very good hockey player and and again second best player arguably in the draft to get him at seven uh, to me it makes sense you, listen you were the GM from 2018 to 2023 was Mitchkov's name something, you know, before you left that position, something you guys talked about a lot? Well, I, I can't say where he was at the end of the year, uh, after the end of the year meetings, but in January, he was second on our list. Uh, and they are getting a skilled and talented player, Jason. No debating that. Uh, we're going to see some fantastic highlights. This is becoming uh, commonplace, the Michigan goal. Oh, there he is, elite hands. Some of the other things you're going to notice with the guy here, though, he's compact. He stays with it. Staying with the play is very important, especially if you're a little bit undersized. He's built like a fire hydrant, though, guys, so he's sturdy as well. He wants to score. He wants to produce offense. It's going to be from the middle of the ice. It's going to be from the hash. It's going to be in high danger areas. That's what's key to me. Skill guys who go to the hard areas to produce offense. It's hard to score on NHL goalies from the flank. You got to get to the hard areas. The kid does it. He's got an elite release. Second best offensive talent in the draft, in my opinion. Yeah, his numbers are unbelievable. Eye popping, quite similar to Connor Bedard's.